Please stand by for a voice check from CNN. Station, this is CNN. How do you hear me? Good morning, CNN. This is Station. I have you loud and clear. Karen, we're absolutely delighted to have you with us this morning. So let's get started. Our first question, uh, at Women in the Air, asks, which women astronauts have influenced you? Yes, when I was in high school, when I was certain that being an astronaut is what my goal was, um, it was a very important time when Sally Ride was making her first first flight into space and she really she really impacted me and also just looking back I did some research onto uh, Valentina Tereshkova when I was in high school because she was the first female to fly in space those two kind of the, the firsts those names mm -hmm. kind of stick in your head and I think they really become inspirations for you at Eliza Bev asks what type of experiments are you currently working on this week we've been doing a lot of experiments on our ocular health. We've had some or noticed some problems over the past several years with many of our astronauts. They come back uh, to Earth after three to six months in space and have uh, long-term vision problems, changes in their, in their vision. And so we're trying to figure out what exactly is causing that and hopefully mitigate the problem, especially if we start longer duration missions going to Mars. We really need to understand this so we don't uh, degrade the vision of every astronaut astronaut that is going into space. Floyd Moore, aged five, and Cam Bacall of uh, at AZ Challenger, both asking the same question. What is it like to sleep in space, and have you ever floated out of your bed? It's actually quite comfortable sleeping in space. We have sleeping bags that are that we hang from the wall. And no, I've never uh, floated out of the bed. I'm usually zipped in pretty well. <laughs> question from me. Have you given up trying to tie your hair down? The main goal is to keep it out of other people's faces. <laughs> under control at Fadel Indonesia asks what continent are you looking at at present we just uh, passed over the east coast of South America and we are heading up towards Africa we should be there in just a couple minutes and then we'll head up over um, over Europe and into Asia in a couple of minutes time that is absolutely remarkable Karen Nyberg joining us uh, from the International Space Station this morning Karen it's been an absolute pleasure thank you very much indeed Thank you so much. It was nice talking to you.